I want to tell you guys the dream that I had last night. It is around 12.45 a.m. Um, so this was 24 hours ago. So <clears throat> I've been asking God for a dream or a vision since around October. Um, I have not lost faith. Every single time I pray before I go to bed, I ask God for a, a vision or a dream. In this particular night, I wasn't getting a lot of sleep because I had to wake up early in the morning. But I had a dream, and this dream only lasted a few minutes in what seemed like in my time. It wasn't a lot. And it made me change my point of view on life. And it made me change my point of view on this earth. So the dream starts off, and... I play a lot of Call of Duty, so this dream wasn't anything out of the ordinary. Um, I play a ton of Call of Duty. So the dream I was in is I was on the ground. I was like laying down. I had a sniper rifle and I was shooting. And obviously we are. It, that's got to be something t and just tied to war. Um... And obviously, I would only serve my... I, I'm from America, so I would serve America. So I don't know if that has anything to play, but I was in war. Um, and I'm sure that does have something to play. So I was in a war. Sorry, my crucifix fell. So... Carrying. I was in a war. I was on the ground. I was sniping people. It was raining, and we were like in the ocean slash beach area. And it was it was the ocean because I don't know why, but America, all the soldiers. I remember I was in the ocean, and I just got America. I guess just lost, and. Me and every single one of these soldiers was drowning. Like, we were just in the middle of the ocean in nowhere. We were just drowning in the ocean. And we were falling to the bottom of the ocean. And a song was playing during it. It was Joy to the World. So, I don't know if that has any significance, but it was Joy to the World. And I recognized that in my dream. So, I... And... I'll, I'll talk back about, you know, the whole war and, and ocean thing. But then after, I, I, I'm i assuming that it was a rapture. Um, so then after that, I'm, me and a bunch of other people are in this classroom. And... I guess since I'm a student that God used this vision of a classroom to make it look more familiar to me versus something else. So God actually used something that I was familiar with to spread his message. And basically what he gave me is I was in a classroom and there was a there was a teacher in there and there's a line of students in this classroom. They're being judged and they're being sent to heaven or hell. And when I was in line and when I was next up in line, I realized, I realized the sheer punishment that hell was. At the time of the dream, I, I, my heart was racing. And I was so scared because in that dream, it hit me that what the actual punishment for hell was. It, it just actually, it, I could fathom it because I was so close to it. It showed me 
how it will never end. It's it's not gonna be. It's not gonna last an hour. It's not gonna last a year. No, it's gonna last for eternity. And I knew that there was a lot on the line. So when I was in this classroom, and the teacher says, "Why should I let you into heaven?" And I said, because I accepted you as my Lord and Savior. And he said, not enough. So I guess I, I don't remember this part clearly, but I, get, I guess I get sent back to the line. And when I was next up, I had a bad feeling that I was going to go to hell. I was pretty, I was not optimistic about heaven based off God's reaction. And I've been told that on Judgment Day to say that I put my faith in Jesus. And that's what I said. And God said not enough. But I realized that it was over for me. And my heart was racing. I wish I could have one more chance. And see, sometimes even in my life, this was an eye-opener. Because sometimes in my life, I will, I will try to live for the world. I will attempt to live for the world. And God will steer me away from that. And I sometimes don't even consider hell. You know, if I live for the world, that makes me an enemy of God, as according to the Bible. And if I live for the world and I'm an enemy of God, then I'm not going to heaven. And I sometimes take help for lightly because I'd rather do my worldly desires than actually focus on where, where I'm going. And I, and I had a vision of hell. I actually did have a vision of hell, but God did not put me through the pain of hell. I know a lot of people have been given visions or they've been put through the pain of hell, but I was never put in the pain of hell. What I was put through is I was in the lake of fire, but I was with nobody. I was around nobody. Now, I, I don't know the sheer pain and torture that you would go through because I was not given that. I was given a, just a sighting of hell. And I can tell you it's not good. I was in a lake by myself. A lake of fire.